Put the water into the new fish tank. Make sure all equipments operate normally. After 24 hours, all chemical sea salt dissolved. Fish tank water becomes lamper. Measure the relative density again. If it is lower than 1.022, put few more chemical sea salt. If it is higher than 1.024, remove some water, and pour in some fresh water to decrease the relative density. Next, start the nitrifying bacteria breeding. There are many brands of nitrifying bacteria solvents. For those cheap solvents, they usually contain ammonia only as catalysts, which are suitable to use for fish tanks with bio rocks. Bio rock is not the rock actually in coral reef. Hard corals died and left their bones. These bone fossils are microporous materials, which are sediments of nitrifying bacteria. And microorganism. A small fish tank with 96 lit water may place it with 4 to 7 kg of bio rocks as the origin of nitrifying bacteria, microorganism, and deep sand beds sand worms. Higher quality of bio rocks, more growth of purple algae on their surface. It indicates more kinds of microorganism and worms living inside. For the low quality bio rocks, because the places to store them in the aquarium shops usually have simple filtering condition and have been storing for a long time, the purple algae died and peeled off. Such bio rocks appear in brown, pale, or gray color. Always only nitrifying bacteria lives inside. High quality bio rock price. Is four to five times of low quality bio rock. For beginners to buy the bio rocks, do not choose the just arrival bio rocks. During air transportation, many microorganisms inside died due to water shortage. If no any prior treatments to such bio rocks, and put them into new synthetic seawater. Any alive microorganism inside will die immediately. It fills the synthetic seawater full of death and poisonous elements. Therefore, beginners are suggested to buy new arrived bio rocks that have been keeping for around one week at the aquarium shop, or you may consider to buy low quality bio rocks as origin of nitrifying bacteria to accelerate. The fish tank bacteria breeding. In future, you may exchange them or add more good quality of bio rocks as necessary. If not use bio rocks for nitrifying bacteria breeding, you may choose to use the solvent with slipping nitrifying bacteria inside. Best solvents put the slipping bacteria in separate package. Their price are two to three times of other cheaper solvents, and always have short shelf life. Hence, not many aquarium shops keep them in stock. Choose to use your desired kind of nitrifying bacteria solvent. Use it according to the instruction. At this time, it must turn off the potent skimmer and fish tank lighting source. It is because. Potent skimmer removes ammonia, which is the food source of nitrifying bacteria. The breeding rate of nitrifying bacteria is faster in dim environment. In the following two days, let the fish tank runs without any living creature. It is the nitrifying bacteria breeding initial stage. I have just mentioned about fish tank lighting. The lighting spectrum for marine fish tank is blue with white. For small fish tank, many people use cheaper and less bright fluorescent too. Of course, you may use the high quality LED light. Lighting has not much effect to health of fishes. That's why beginners 
always choose the cheaper fluorescent tube with more white tubes and less blue tubes. That is convenient to observe creatures' situation clearly. On another hand, if you use a floating kind of hydrometer, check any attached thermometer. The ideal water temperature is between 22 and 26 Celsius degree, unless the water temperature lower than 20 Celsius degree or higher than 30 Celsius degree. Almost all kinds of fishes can adapt it. In winter, a 100 watt heater is enough for a small fish tank with 96 lit water. During install a heater, sink it until the water cover is sensor part. Do not sink the whole heater into the water, or the sea water may erode the temperature control part to cause electricity leakage. In summer, unless the fish tank is illuminated by sun directly and without any air conditioner, the fish tank water temperature would not higher than 32 Celsius degree. If you want to install a chiller to decrease the water temperature, because the chiller may not have any water pumping power, you need to install an additional water pump to pump water from the tank into the chiller and then back into the tank. This submersible pump power should be four times of the water capacity of the tank so that it has sufficient power to pump the water from the tank into the chiller's snack tube to cool down the water and then push the cold water back into the tank. Please pay attention that one more submersible pump inside the fish tank rises the water temperature. Of course, you may use a normal pump outside the fish tank. Please be careful to connect and fix the pump on ground to avoid any water leakage. Well, such normal pump price is quite expensive and even a small chiller is very expensive as well. The chiller releases heat to rise the room temperature at the same time. In conclusion, unless the water temperature is always higher than 13 Celsius degree at both day and night, most small fish tank owners would not install a chiller. In next episode, I will introduce the habit of some marine fishes which kinds of them are suitable to raise in small fish tank? Press subscribe for next episode showtime.